Last week, I was telling you about the deal of the day with um, some stats from before and immediately after. Uh, I want to carry on a little bit on that because we're now um, 10 days after the event. These were the stats for um, my Alone in the Dark, Blades in the Dark solo rules. Now, before the deal of the day, it was 680 sold, one and a half a day on average, um, 16.2 views per sale. Now, the day after the um, deal of the day, that had jumped from 680 to 840. We'd gone up to 1.8 and it's 15.3. So, um, 16.2 down to 15.3 which is brilliant it's one of my best performing books anyway um, now advancing that on to stats taken this morning um, here we go yep so we've we're still at 15.3 um, the sales rate is at two per day 60 per month and were at nine to seven paid sales. Um, there's some other things going on here as well, uh, which are exciting. Now the complimentary copies has gone up um, from two to four because someone reached out to me on Twitter about uh, streaming um, solo playing Blaze in the Dark on Twitch. Now, if that comes off, um, I can see that driving more sales. Um, so that's you know, a, another unexpected and unlooked for consequence of the deal of the day. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm quite happy to capitalize on anything. Um, one of the things, so this was before, 315 in the wish list, 23 in shopping carts today. There's even more in the wish list and even more in the uh, shopping carts of people that haven't, you know, they've got so far, but they haven't actually bought it. Now, as I said then, um, you know, during the deal of the day, this is about as cheap as it's ever going to get. So you, why you would sit on it is, I don't know. It's, uh, most of the people in the wish list, it's probably they've got huge wish lists and they don't even realize it's on there because there's no notifications. Now, so that is all exciting. What is also exciting is 927 is only 74 sales short of a platinum bestseller. Um, and at two per day, if that were to continue, which it won't, um, that's 34 days um, at 60 per month it, it's sort of six weeks um, now these sales are going to drop off um, but one of the con another consequence of the deal of the day and what's gone on after it came up in a comment on this is last week's video in the comments and Jordan said here that he saw I capitalized on deal of the day by launching the Roguetober sale. And in the little comment uh, thread here, I'm saying that um, actually the Roguetober sale was a completely separate thing because you could get no control over when your product is deal of the day. And they just happened to fall, um, you know, you know, straight one after the other you, know, you only get 24 hours notice of when you're going to be deal of the day um, so uh, you, know, you can't coordinate them like that but the idea of rogue toba um, was to bring together indie publishers which have only got a few titles so in a, a big site-wide sale, they get almost no exposure at all. But if we could bring together many um, indie publishers with only a few titles, everyone gets more exposure. Um, but that Rogue Toba 
is the reason why this sales figure has gone from 1.8, which is absolutely amazing, to 2. Now, Rotober has had this big front page exposure up here. You've got the big red button there. Now, when you click through on it, what you get it, here is that book. Now, if you look at this hottest list, it's the only one wearing its metal badge, apart from um, Fear Factory down here. Um, but that is, you know, a big fat gold there. Um, it's that. If you're familiar with Forge in the Dark, that is the um, compatibility logo. Lots of my stuff has compatibility logos. That's the Index Card RPG. That's the Archmage system. Um, that is the uh, Operation White Box. Eldritch Tales, you know, Mothership, but, but it, lots of my stuff wears the compatibility, so fans can uh, spot books that, um, you know, that title alone doesn't tell you that that's Blade in the Dark. Um, so it's got, you know, it's right up there in the hottest list with you know the, the best advertising it's ever going to get apart from that deal of the day and this is what's driving the current rate of sales which is why i said that that two per day isn't going to continue because in two days and three hours time it's the dis the advertising is going to disappear and the pressure will come off it um which would be a shame but that leap from 680 where you're 321 away from the the metal to only 74 away from the platinum metal that is a huge difference um so what it looks like is the a deal of the day has quite a long tail um you know, the, I'm still getting organic um, sales from it. You know, what you don't get is, you know, if you're thinking that in the last 10 days, this has sold um, oh, 680, so what's that? Uh, 47, 247 copies. If we go to the homepage here, um, no, this is horribly slow here, but having sold 247 in a week, and now I will tell you that, um, where has it gone? This book here has sold 27 copies in three days, nine, nine per day, 247 in um, 10 days, uh, that's what, 27 a day. So it should be, you know, up there in that sort of ballpark you have to keep scrolling down uh, my internet connection out here on the island is not the fastest but um yeah that's odd i have quite a few things that show up twice i'm not complaining but um that's a bug in uh, drive through uh, We'll keep on going. I'll keep on talking. Now, uh, one of the big factors in these hottest lists is product age. Something that is new and has made its sales over a short time period weighs much more heavily in the um, hottest lists than old products. So the age of um, uh, Blaze in the Dark, now if we... I just hop here a second it was added in july 2019 so that's 15 months ago um though that 15 months makes a huge difference to how its sales are weighted um, to stay consistently at the 
top of a most popular or hottest list, you would have to sort of sell one on day one, two on day two, three on uh, day three, four, eight, sixteen. You'd have to just keep multiplying up your sales because each sale is weight or weighted you know, is almost divided by its age. Um, you know that stops you know the player's handbook, you know, the five Eve player's handbook being at the top of the best selling list forever. Um, because no one could ever compete with it. Uh, you a book to be one of these best sellers has to um, be you know, selling day on day, every day, getting ever more popular. Now, we're already up to that's the 105th there, and there's still no sign of a book that's selling 27 copies a day on average. The first one you're likely to see is going to be that Dungeon World book, which has sold about 50 a week. Um, here it is. Selling 50 a week for a book that's three months old, or two months old even, gets you to 118th. Um, you know, this is the next one on that. Uh, where's the Rotober sale? So that's selling 50 a week. And it's 118. That sold 227 in, uh, in 10 days, 27 a day. It's not in anywhere near this one here is a relatively new um book and we have not seen that yet i know it's it's going to come up soon um you, you age is just so important if you want to market a book you need to do sustained day on day or every other day marketing just to drive more and more sales over time it, is no point in doing a massive launch getting a, a spike of sales and then having it trail away if it trails away your book will die it will just disappear we're we're beyond 150 uh now and this is you know the under five dollars is not a huge category there it is 159th um and that book is I'm going to click through on that one. Uh, so, 159 here, and that book is September 27th. That's 23 days old. And, you know, that is selling tens of copies per day. Um, you know, it's going to be going silver any day now. Uh, possibly today or tomorrow um, but because it is three weeks old um, three and a bit uh, the sales just don't count they are not valued the same which means you need to do um, continuous new marketing if you want to uh, it stay if you want that front page exposure then you have to keep putting on new marketing day on day otherwise you're going to just disappear down these lists in no time at all right well, that's a bit of a dis, uh, depressing end but um the positive is if you can get to a deal of today status it has a long tail and it opens up plenty of opportunities um, I'm hoping that the um, blades in the dark I'm hoping this book will be streamed on Twitter no on Twitch sorry it's already had multiple videos um, in here that's only part one there's at least two parts that um, you, know, you will get attention, you will get um, more exposure um, it, from that deal of the day. Right, so that's it. Um, I will let you know when that goes platinum. And I'm hoping it'll be sooner rather than later. But certainly it should be 2020. Right, that's it for this week.